Have you ever wondered where it all began? The story of our universe is one of the most fascinating tales ever told. Imagine everything you know, everything you see, squeezed into a tiny point, smaller than a grain of sand. It's almost unimaginable, isn't it? That's where our universe started, billions of years ago, in an incredibly hot and dense state. It was so hot and dense that even the basic building blocks of matter couldn't exist as they do now. Then BOOM! The Big Bang happened and everything started expanding at an incredible rate faster than the speed of light. Think of a balloon being inflated. Just like that, the universe expanded, stretching space itself. The universe stretched and grew, becoming less dense and cooler over time, allowing the formation of the first atoms. It's still expanding today, like a never-ending fireworks show, with galaxies moving away from each other. This early universe was filled with a hot, dense soup of particles constantly moving and interacting. These particles were so energetic they constantly collided and interacted creating the first elements. As the universe cooled, these particles began to slow down and combine, forming the first simple atoms. This marked the beginning of a transformation from a chaotic soup to a structured cosmos with stars and galaxies forming. The Big Bang wasn't just an explosion of matter, it was also the start of time and space as we know it, setting the stage for everything that followed. From this single event, the entire universe with all its wonders emerged, leading to the cosmos we are a part of today. After the Big Bang, the universe wasn't just sitting still, it was expanding rapidly in all directions. Imagine baking raisin bread. As the dough rises, the raisins move farther apart. That's what's happening with galaxies in our universe. They're like the raisins moving away from each other as the universe expands. And guess what? The expansion is still happening today. As the universe expanded, it cooled down. Think about a hot cup of coffee left on the counter. The heat spreads out, and the coffee cools. The same thing happened to the early universe, creating the conditions for stars and galaxies to form. This expansion wasn't smooth and uniform, there were tiny variations in the density of the early universe like ripples in a pond. These variations would later lead to the formation of the cosmic structures we see today. As the universe continued to expand and cool, gravity started to play a crucial role in shaping the cosmos. Gravity pulled together clumps of gas and dust like a cosmic vacuum cleaner, sweeping up the scattered remnants of the early universe. These clumps got denser and hotter over millions of years as gravity continued to compress them into tighter and tighter spaces. Eventually, the pressure and temperature at the center of these clumps became so intense that nuclear fusion ignited creating the first stars. Boom! A star is born! This process of star formation continues to this day, lighting up the universe. Stars are giant balls of hot gas, powered by nuclear fusion in their cores which produces immense amounts of energy. They shine brightly, illuminating the universe and providing the light and heat necessary for life as we know it. Stars are not loners, they like to group together in vast collections called galaxies, which can contain billions of stars. Our own Milky Way galaxy is home to billions of stars, all swirling around a central point, creating a magnificent cosmic dance. Galaxies come in different shapes and sizes, like cosmic snowflakes, each one unique in its structure and composition. Within these galaxies, stars are born, live out their lives, and eventually die, contributing to the ongoing cycle of cosmic evolution. The death of stars, especially massive ones, can be spectacular events, leading to the creation of even more exotic objects in the universe, such as black holes and neutron stars. Black holes are some of the most mysterious objects in the universe. They are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine a giant cosmic drain pulling everything around it inwards. How do black holes form? When massive stars run out of fuel, they collapse under their own gravity. This collapse creates a point of infinite density called a singularity, the heart of a black hole. Black holes are invisible because they don't emit light, but we can detect them by observing their effects on nearby stars and gas. These objects are like cosmic predators lurking in the darkness of space. Studying black holes helps us understand the extreme limits of gravity and the nature of space-time itself. They are like windows into the most fundamental laws of the universe. Section 5 Dark Matter The Invisible Glue We can see stars and galaxies but there's something else out there, something we can't see directly. It's called dark matter, and it's like a hidden cosmic web holding everything together. 
astronomers noticed that galaxies were rotating faster than they should be based on the visible matter alone. There must be something else, something invisible, providing extra gravity to keep them from flying apart. That's where dark matter comes in. Dark matter doesn't emit light or interact with it, making it difficult to detect. It's like a ghost, passing through walls and leaving no trace. But we know it's there because of its gravitational effects. We still don't know what dark matter is made of, but scientists are actively searching for answers. It's one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics today. Section 6, Dark Energy, The Accelerating Universe. Remember how the universe is expanding? Well, it turns out that the expansion is speeding up. It's like a car accelerating on a highway. This acceleration is driven by a mysterious force called dark energy. Dark energy is a type of energy that seems to be present everywhere in space, pushing things apart. It's like an anti-gravity force working against the pull of gravity. We know very little about dark energy, but we can observe its effects on the expansion of the universe. It's like a cosmic puzzle that scientists are trying to solve. The discovery of dark energy revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It suggests that the universe's future may be very different from what we once thought. Section 7. Fate of the Universe. What lies ahead? What will happen to the universe in the far, far future? This question has intrigued scientists and philosophers for centuries. Will it keep expanding forever, driven by the mysterious force of dark energy? Or will it collapse back on itself, leading to a dramatic event known as the Big Crunch? These are some of the biggest questions in cosmology, and they remain unanswered. One possibility is the Big Freeze where the universe continues to expand and cool indefinitely. If dark energy continues to dominate, the universe will keep expanding and cooling, becoming increasingly empty and cold. Eventually stars will die out, galaxies will drift apart, and the universe will become a cold, dark, and empty place, devoid of any light or warmth. Another possibility is the Big Rip, a scenario where dark energy grows stronger over time, if dark energy gets stronger over time, it could eventually rip apart everything from galaxies to atoms, leaving the universe in a state of complete chaos and disintegration. These are just two of many possible fates for the universe, each with its own set of fascinating implications. The truth is we don't know for sure what the future holds. Our understanding of the cosmos is still evolving, but that's what makes cosmology so exciting. The quest for knowledge and the mysteries that lie ahead keep us looking up at the stars, wondering about our place in the universe. The universe is a vast and mysterious place full of wonders that we are only beginning to explore. From the Big Bang to black holes, from dark matter to dark energy, the cosmos is full of surprises. By studying the universe we learn more about our place in it and the fundamental laws that govern everything around us. So, keep looking up at the stars and never stop asking questions. The universe is an endless source of fascination and discovery.